Okay, so you can pause the video to read through the word problem, but uh, the key point here is that we're supposed to use the p-value approach to make a decision on the null and alternative hypothesis. So the p-value of the hypothesis test is less than 0.01. They told us this. We don't know what it is, but we know the p-value is less than alpha. They said the alpha is 0.01. So the the saying goes that if the p-value is low, reject HO. Okay. In other words, uh, when the p-value is less than the given alpha significance level, reject the null hypothesis. There is significant statistical evidence. Okay. So uh, there's evidence to reject the null hypothesis in favor of that alternative that the researchers are trying to show. There's evidence to reject the null hypothesis in favor of mu1 being greater than mu2. In other words, subtracting the two means and getting a positive number. Okay, so the p-value is low, so we reject the null hypothesis. And we should say that there is sufficient evidence to suggest the population mean wingspan of the dragonflies that live near the river is greater, just like this alternative hypothesis says. You know, if you have trouble interpreting that, and I think a lot of students do at the beginning, this is the inequality, but we know we can add and subtract to both sides of an inequality. We're not breaking any math rules. So mu1 is greater than mu2 here is what that's saying. Okay? And that's what this said here. There's significant evidence that mu1 is greater than mu2.